And this is just such a straight line of sus, isn't it? Welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vin. That's Pedro. Damn it. Hello. There's always that 50-50 gamble with the camera, isn't there? <laughs> yeah. And that is Jordan Svang, and together with you, Shot Realm Dynamic, helping us form Cocaine Voltron, because he is here to save the day. Once up, once new. We got a chonky show. Had to turn it into a chonky show because uh, Steam did a couple of things. We're even going to be talking about comic books tonight because... Nerds. Nerds, yeah. They'll do it. <laughs> You're and on it, the internet on a Saturday night listening to people on a Linux gaming podcast. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> hot, you, singles, hot single ladies are waiting for you in our Discord. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. Now. <laughs> sponsored by hot ladies. <laughs> if you stick around for the end of the show, we're going to tell you how Microsoft has solved game subscription stagnation. And by that, I mean you're going to now skip to the timestamp. Good on you. All right. <laughs> so before we get going, I want to talk about a couple of things. Uh, I went ahead and released the... I've talked about it on the show. I finally pushed that up. Go to interfacinglinux.com. It's the latest post up there for the Audio Science ASI 512 because we love playing with server hardware. Getting it. Get it on eBay, get something old, get something repurposing it. I decided to do that with a real piece of radio broadcast hardware. Why? Because I had Linux drivers. Technically, it did have Linux drivers. A month later, we got it working. I take you on that entire journey. Journal? Yes. The, it is a journal. journal. It's a it journey. Requi it requires a generator to go through the journal. Because you stop believing. I'm just a city boy, yeah. man. Small Born town. Raised in South Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> go check that out uh what about you one pitcher mateus what do you got going on this week man you've been busy at work yes busy at work and then after work going around to as many of the teeny tiny little small villages in uh east anglia looking for a your place to live get your lockpicks <laughs> just, just looking for somewhere to live that's I cheaper didn't than no no <laughs> uh somewhere to live that's cheaper than cambridge because cambridge is really expensive really expensive L just looking at the prices on the websites around it's like oh you can get a three-story house for 200 pounds less uh a month in rent that i'm currently paying huh right <laughs> john swing what's up uh, well, you know, Dungeons and Dragons is an incredibly dangerous game. Uh, it's full of hazards and traps. I fell victim to one. I was walking into my office this morning and I felt a horrible pain on my foot only to find. Oh, oh I, I, yeah. I, I wait, thought to wait, myself, wait, wait, we got another those back. Then you were like, I better take my shoe off. No, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't wear my shoes indoors. I'm, I live in Canada, the civilized part of the world. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, may, maybe I should start wearing shoes indoors because yeah, I step inside my office and there is shooting pain on my foot. And I thought maybe I stepped on something and I shattered it and some plastic shard yep. went into my foot. Nay, this fucker <laughs> rolled a critical hit on my foot. There's a nice little triangular prism right here when, yeah, yeah, that's fun. So moral of the story, kids, D&D is dangerous. How did that These wars are make very good caltrops, yes. <laughs> Dude, how does that end up on your floor? I don't know. I think I've been moving stuff around and maybe I knocked something. I was using my dice earlier and there's a bunch of it on my desk and I thought they were pretty, pretty like on the inside of the desk away from the edge. That one was not. Have you upset anyone in the house lately? I mean, when, when do I not piss people? I, uh, I'm just saying, man, <laughs> like, somebody yeah, that, that could have been I, a strategic. I, I, like... It's very possible. It's probably Luna. I did like the picture you took where the uh, the dye was about the same color as the floor. So it's probably been there a while. <laughs> the desk, but yeah. <laughs> or the desk. <laughs> same thing. It's actually a different color, but the point is that shit hurts. Ow. So, uh, we're not doctors, but uh, don't take this as medical advice. Don't step on sharp shit. Turns out, yeah. <laughs> yeah. LGC cares. There we go. 
Now, if the horse had stepped on it. You got your it, tetanus shot. <laughs> the horse was wearing horseshoes. I, I got my tetanus shot a couple of years ago when I cut myself on a broken piece of glass. Uh, the horse certainly hasn't. The horse is just tetanus. Just like the steam. It's time to duel, then. It is. Rejoice, all of you. For it has returned. Valve's abandoned baby. A game that was met with the fuck's this? A resounding man. <laughs> you know we're talking about Artifact, and this comes from PC Games In. We'll put a link That's to everything in the show notes. Look at that. Shit. You're like, oh, yeah, you're like, oh. Valve paid a lot of money for that. How dare you? Uh, this was kind of weird, man. So there's been a jump in playership in Artifact. Uh, it was down to basically higher than I was expecting, around like 59 average players. Doing pretty good. I'm like, all right. Something happened on Tuesday because it went from that to about 2.5 thousand. And I was like, man, all right, maybe, maybe it's a blip. No one knows. So I headed over here. Gentlemen, it is stuck. Here we are on the mm -hmm. 14th and we're still averaging 2.5 thousand average players. And this is just such a straight line of sauce, isn't it? You're like, well, that, 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 yeah. that number's too even every single day. Oh. How relevant. <laughs> we have a bot in chat. <laughs> Aw, cheap viewers. Yes. <laughs> I want expensive viewers, though. Come on, viewers, you guys are going to take that? <laughs> You're just going to take that? It's just calling you cheap. <laughs> you, 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 listen, y'all are a bunch of classy viewers. We would make you breakfast. <laughs> what do you think it is? I mean, it's obviously probably bots. You got some theories oh. on it. Yeah, the, the, the article uh, very much says is probably a bot wave uh, and the timing with Valve actively betting a shit ton of people from uh, TF2. We talked about that last week uh, because they were botting uh, and all of a sudden uh, there's a big surge of bots on uh, Artifact. Seems like a uh, too coincidental of well, uh, a couple of... Things. It's a, it's, a, it's a bold move because you know people ostensibly cared about TF2. No one gives a shit about Artifact, so I don't think there's going to be a save Artifact <laughs> campaign in the next couple of years. Yeah, my fun theory was like I get nicotine fits for Magic the Gathering, so maybe some people have the Artifact bug. But that straight ass line that that's some bot shit. That's yeah, that, that's not natural. You definitely got to think of it. It's fallen just a bit because I was like, wait a minute. What was like the initial push on this? Like when, when it was new and you just download it and you played it. Like I even downloaded it and I'm like, well, I don't care. This was like, we were talking about this in the pre-pre super show. Like what, what was uh, the Hearthstone, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Peak card game. And they released it at the right time too. Like that was like the time to strike. This thing, 60,000. Six years ago. And yeah, it, it first immediately <laughs> fell off the cliff down to 300. Which it held up till, well, not never mind. Let's <laughs> dial that back. Uh, yeah, go, that truncated okay. y-axis kind of distorts yeah, the numbers a little it, bit. It doesn't does, it? Uh, like two hundred. Yeah, by twenty twenty, uh, less than a year after release, it's like down to uh, two hundred and ten, and it doesn't get better. Doesn't get better. Oh, this this is weird. If anybody knows, you know, if you're in the business and you're like, hey, yeah, I turned my bot farm over to mine for this, like, call <laughs> us up. Let us know. But we like, won't tell anybody. I'll, all the cards are free, though, so I don't. I don't know that they, they they made the, they made that all available. Uh -huh. Yeah, the, the, but but and this is for a classic, which is where all the cards are free. So, but but I, maybe maybe this is all to like create account history and like blah blah blah. This is like the bot priming shit where they're like, hey, we're gonna be. register for a bunch of accounts. We're gonna sit in games for a bit, make it make them vaguely resemble some real real accounts. Wow. Oh. I just thought it was interesting. Then again. Yeah. We could all be wrong. Maybe it is a streamer. There's like, this is great. And like that person has like 2000 people watching yeah. and they decided to come up with like a tournament for $10,000 yeah, right. or something. You're like you got to get whatever by the end of the week. Yeah. I'll give you a free sub to my only fans. That, that would be what, yeah. One Pedro way to is making that, that's highly unlikely <laughs> face, which I realize. No, it, that, that, that's one way to drive engagement. Yes. But, I like card games. I do. I genuinely do. I played a lot of Hearthstone. I yeah. played a lot of Magic the Gathering. Uh, and I had very much expected that I would love Artifact when they were talking about it. It's like, yeah, uh, 
uh, the Magic the Gathering person. We brought him in, and it's uh, around the Dota stuff, but the Dota stuff is just the flavor. So it's going to be a card game by the established name in card games. So I played it, and uh, you have to play because, you know, three lanes in Dota, so you have to play three games at once. And it broke me. <laughs> so it so genuinely I, broke me. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, th I guess this goes to show you that like Mark Rosewater is just a better game designer than Richard Garfield. Send, send your hate mail to those are names. Be angry at Yeah, right, 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 right. right. Um, comic books. Comic books. Let's talk about sequential art. It's the thing that people need to look at to use their imaginations and fill in the gaps so that you can watch cartoons in your brain. Uh, but there was one for Team Fortress 2 that came out. Uh, there were six episodes that came out a couple years ago, and they had a bit of a narrative. And I guess they were the story of TF2 or a story of Team Fortress 2. The last comic ends in the line, we are Team Fortress and we are going to beat you up. So a title drop? Giggity. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, so this all comes because uh, people really like the comics. Uh, they want there are some fan people or fans who are working on continuing the comics, but then uh, Eric Wolpaw um, and others um, basically said, "Hey, we are working on a seventh issue of the comic. We have a script. We have some art that backs up the drawings of the script. And now the TF2 web comic has a thing that says Part Seven coming soon." I went back and I tried to read through the TF2 comic because I don't think I ever read through it originally. The writing is very, very 2000s era web comic, but the art is pretty well done. Uh, they, they got a, they got a good uh, artist on staff to do it. But I guess I guess for those of you who are dying for more TF2 lore, it's coming. Uh, number seven is supposedly coming out, and uh, yeah, you have the screenshot of Eric Wolpaw going, "It's not a hoax," his word, uh, <laughs> which it's Valve. Um, well. I say that, but we're going to be talking about a certain fighting game in a moment, so, you know, <laughs> bear that in mind. Uh, that It doesn't mean much, but it would be nice, and it doesn't... Hey, it's not number three, so they're probably going to release it, right? It's number seven. L listen, Valve <laughs> time has nothing on comic book time. Comic book time is like the OG, hey, we're just going to stop, drop this story, and then 20 years later, some other writer is going to pick this up because they got pissed that the old writer <laughs> dropped the story, so they're going to finish it. So... You, you know, it, it's like poetry. It it's like that kid, you know, as it grows up and like gets a job at the company, fixes the bug, and quits. Yeah, like exactly. Somebody great to do that. What do you guys think? Do you think there was any? I want to believe there was some type of correlation between this and getting the bots fixed, so it didn't have such a stink on it. Maybe. I think that was part of the push, yes. It's like, oh, you're finally going to be done with the comic for the game that we haven't paid attention to and people have been uh, mostly negative. throwing shit at us. <laughs> you think somebody like working on the comic are like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine, I guess we'll do something about it. <laughs> that, that could speak ill, that could have just been a manual, like hard manual band wave too, like. You know, just, just buy some time till this is out. I've never read it. I was surprised. I was like, I knew there's a Team Fortress 2 comic. Apparently there was. Apparently people like it enough. Also a Portal comic. You, who, who, does, it, does it cover the first uh, blue portal or orange portal? The green one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the time portal. Yeah, right. That <laughs> bastard. That, that fucker, man. Dude, that, that time portal is a real fucker. Mm -hmm. Swear to God. Some people, according to the internet, uh, you know, if you're in with it and you're a little underground, you don't mind buying uh, hardware that's, you know, not like hyper popular or anything. You might have picked up a Steam Deck, you know. Is it a hyper popular is still not as popular as the other game you consoles. Get, you I would get say. another right person, a little back alley deal, you know. It's, you know, it's, 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 it's no MSI claw, right? Yeah, yeah you, you got to go to <laughs> AliExpress and like order this, you know. <laughs> Or the Legion Go, or... Well, the ROG Ally is actually popular because the cheaper version is cheap enough that you can buy it easily in Australia, which... That uh, ROG Ally keeps is... showing back up on that auction site. No one wants that no shit. No one wants it. <laughs> no one wants it. Like, everybody thinks, like, it, everybody's over it. Like, yeah. Valve had a good idea. Like, they got the software right. Mm-hmm. Listen, they, they spent years working on it, and they had a couple fuck-ups oh, up yeah. to that point. They had the Steam controller, they had Steam machines, they've been working on Proton for a while, like, the Steam Deck didn't materialize out of nowhere, and no, these guys, shut yeah. up. We can uh, make one in six months and ship it. 
<laughs> sure thing yeah, is so with some shitty ass software that barely works. I yeah. can't hear you. I'm too busy <laughs> leaking company records. I, I, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, no one at Sabrent actually bought a Steam Deck, because if they had, they probably would have realized that that was a bad idea. Uh, they're doing a, yeah, just a USB hub that folds around the Steam Deck so that it's up against the back. Problem! The Type-C port on the Steam Deck is uh, in line with the vent. How's the problem? The intake vent. Listen, that, that, that's, uh, nah, dude. Uh, there are reasons. I can get a cross-drilled thumb drive and have no, plenty no, of No, no, you, you gotta get, like, the vulcanized rubber flash drives that just seal on, see, onto, no, the, onto the no, vent. Pedro, I can take a, I, I can plug this in, and then I, I can plug an extension into that, then plug mm -hmm. my thumb drive into that extension, mm -hmm. and maybe tape it to the other side. I don't know. <laughs> yes, yeah. on the screen. <laughs> Just further to uh, the right there. Uh, yeah. But yeah, no, th that is genuinely bad. How it got to the point where they have the probably renders, uh, maybe not finals, but who knows. It got to that point and no one realized maybe it's a bad idea if we covered the intake. It would have been a lot better if instead of being horizontal, it was vertical so that you could have. You know, the, the plug in the drives horizontally so that they wouldn't cover the vent. Or you do like a Z-shaped thing where it just kind of clips broader on the back and moves the port over. I don't, yeah, you, if, yeah. You, if you're going to do this, <laughs> you, you, you definitely want to pair it with one of those like ventilated Steam Deck backplates. This is like, yeah, I don't understand why, why you, this is something to knock off and get broken inside of your USB connector. Because of the way it yeah. just clips over the top. Like, that's all that's going to happen with this. I don't know how Sabrent got to this point. Because Sabrent makes some decent stuff, man. Like, it works. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, that is, like... <laughs> did Seriously, no one buy a Steam Deck at Sabrent? And they just made it off of the schematics? Because Valve made the schematics available. Now, admittedly, so Sabrent is one reasons. of those companies that will just make shit to make shit, too. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they gotta fill out their product catalog. Right, <laughs> right. They're, they're not as bad as, like, StarTech. Like, but... <laughs> Star Trek, I mean, I mean, U Green. Uh. <laughs> I, I, listen, I will give Star Trek, Star Star Trek, Star yes. Tech credit because if you Use need an force. adapter, they fucking make it. <laughs> oh yeah, they no, do. no, and they will make you pay through your teeth for it too. Mm -hmm. Yes, because because we're, we're the only ones stupid enough to make this fucking yeah, thing. Yeah, when, you, when you're fucking laying in bed at three o'clock and you're like, I wonder if somebody made an adapter to that. That uh, and they're like, we got you, fam. Here, you know, sixty bucks, sixty <laughs> yeah, bucks, little man. 200 sometimes depending on uh, how obscure you want dude that is kind of wild um yeah go uh go watch the video version check out the link for this thing because it is as clear as you would think first you're just hanging something off the back it's got a USB C port two type a's to put you i, I don't understand the uh, use case i Thumb see drives. we are just posted a thing in discord yeah they're just reusing the same molding that they had for the rog ally version ah, and just made yeah. it black <laughs> For the uh, Steam gun, Deck. Gun, gun, okay, gun so metal yeah, gray. No, they straight it's up the... didn't buy a Steam Deck. <laughs> they didn't get a Steam Deck. It, it happened to fit. It was made, we, we made it black. And hey, notice how it doesn't cover ventilation holes. Oh. <laughs> yes. <Amazing. laughs> On the um, basis the ROG well. LA, it's slightly off to the side. <laughs> right. <sighs> I, 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 and, and like, what, I guess if you expend the internal SSD and the SD card, you need to throw some thumb drives on the back for more storage because you need to play all your games Nothing's on Steam Deck Nothing's going to get wedged under time. there and just snap all yeah. apart, dude. Yeah, no, it mm -hmm. won't happen. What if you get your Steam Deck in a case? Womp womp. Yeah, no, you can't fit the Steam no. Deck in a case with that plugged in. <laughs> Good no, job. Listen, Not listen, the official you just, you just case need, anyway. Maybe a third party with, one. With some scissors, yes. anything is possible, oh, right? <laughs> oh, God. Snip snip. I kind of want to do that just to make the internet mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh we can go darker all right but since we're talking about star tech we can take that usb we're, we're gonna have to find a way to tap five volts though because i want to eventually break this extension down to an ide drive ah no, to I, tape I, I, to I, the I, back of the steam deck a spinning one i just want this to go into like a wall outlet <laughs> <laughs> i mean it does have the USB C pass through so that yeah. you can still charge it so it, yeah it needs to it, need, it needs to be jankier paper. i am hmm we need to hook this up to a diesel generator. Okay. We've had our fun. Let's talk about a new game. It was supposed to come out this week, but it didn't. Oops. Wop wop. It's just called Festival. You know, stick with what works. Festival clearly wasn't taken, I guess. Um, Festival for the restival. 
Why am I interested in this? <laughs> well, I looked at the description. It's a role playing game. I'm like, all right, set in a Renaissance fair. I'm like, mm, okay, that might end up becoming, you know, depend depending on how it plays out. Well, no, that's just this is going to become um, GTA because it's straight up got PvP in it and battle royale online multiplayer and MMO MOBA Dark Souls with some GTA RP thrown in there. Yeah, like. um, yeah. Effectively, if we scroll down here, it's a uh, just like Dark Souls 3, according to uh, yeah. Steam. <laughs> it's designed for controllers, and I, I like the little warning here. You, you can uh, It's fully voice acted. Too. Like, I'm curious about this, because I'm getting to it. You know, they say, hey, it's cussy, it's filled with the drugs, and there might be sexy situations. I'm like, yeah, this is going to turn into like GTA. It probably won't, but holy hell, this download, though. 55 Oof. gigabytes. Listen, it, there's a lot of shit going on in the Renaissance Festival. Um, <laughs> and if you're thinking about like the, think of like, uh, what, what, what we'd say are like Saturn level polygon graphic aesthetic they're going for. This, it reminds me a little bit of like um, Dire Straits. I want my MTV a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I was going to say more 19, late 1980s. <laughs> a virtual yeah. fighter. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Something of that era. Yeah, er, er, early 90s, late 80s. Early There's 3D, only yeah. one developer, Billy, and uh, it was supposed to come out on on Monday, and that just went poof. Now it's back to coming spoon. Oh, nobody knows. Hopefully, it comes yeah. out because I want to. Jo- I was hoping like we were going to jump into this in the after shows and <laughs> do some try, try try to joust and then just no. It's it's like when we played uh, Cursed Fuck Off and Die. It's like let's get into this car and drive somewhere, and we all just get headshotted by right. a sniper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess we'd be on horses or something. I don't know. No yeah, wagon. The, there's, there's still a sniper there. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was looking at the because uh, Ven pointed out. Yeah, 55 gigs of a storage requirement. Is that why it doesn't have a trailer? Because you're supposed to have a trailer in your Steam store page. Oh, they're they're trying to be like the game we looked at in the pre pre super shows. <laughs> yes. Because you know what? If I didn't, and Valve sent me a nasty gram, they were like, "You need." I would clap back, but like, y'all motherfuckers, the doctor, heal thyself on this one. <laughs> like, don't tell me what to do when you're not doing it on your own page. Yeah, yeah. Although uh, I am um, genuinely curious as to why they recommend a, uh, or the minimum requirement is a DirectX compatible sound card for the Linux version. Although that, they that's, claim that's, that the that's Linux version is not like, yet tested. That's common across like all, so so many games are like yeah DirectX nine capable sound card on Linux, you know because 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 we're using why that, because uh, that's in the drop down yeah, yeah. It, it 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 people aren't it's like no one's gonna click on this shit who uses yeah. Linux hi <laughs> no one no nobody who counts uses Linux now to the big update we talked about this was it last week or the week before it might have been last week we were speculating dude posted on this a. Uh, uh, a valve leaker he's like i don't i can't say more because i don't know more but valve's working on a fighting game to like jordan at your take was like super steam bros let's do this right i i think that that was everyone's first thought was just like yeah super smash bros but with like and valve characters like who, who do we put in it i don't know and i was like you're probably gonna use fucking dota with a bunch of people that i don't know about <laughs> low turns out and <laughs> hold Sleep Fighter Turbo Alpha Extreme 2. With Knuckles. <laughs> Everything's got Knuckles these days, man. How to play... I mean, this, this is just real. This exists. Uh, this, this happened. You can go play it on Linux right now. How to play it. Uh, it's a bit of a journey. Uh, <laughs> first, the hardest part is you got to convince yourself that you're going to download Dota 2. All right? Once you get past yeah, that, no. <laughs> uh, it's just a mode that has been included uh, with a Crownfall update. Uh, you get five characters, dedicated move list. Like, this, this I mean, they did their the half-assery right. You know, alt skins. You get frame data, which I think is more of a joke than anything else. And I went looking for this. I was like, okay, this is my playlist, because I was kind of like Pedro. Pedro's like, I don't want to play Dota. I was like, I was willing to download Dota. And he's like, oh, no, you got to play some Dota. And I was like, don't care that much. I gotta see what it looks like. <laughs> so I headed over to YouTube and uh, I watched a couple of these videos. I did because the first two, I was convinced that these were just from people who didn't know how, they were used to capturing MOBAs, right? And like they're moving at like one FPS anyway. They don't know how to capture a fighting game. Now, now Valve decided to bless 
these characters with about six to eight frames of animation each. That's why you can get good frame data. It's pretty chunky, man. Uh, And Sleep Fighter, come on, man. Come on. That makes me think like Power Washing Simulator, but with like sleep. (laughs) Hey, I guess it's more of a joke, though. And you can play online, of course. But Jordan, you think it's good that they're getting back in the jokey... Yeah, like honestly, they're 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 making new games. Sure, they're like little shitty mini games inside of Dota, right? But like they're making stuff. I remember when Codename Gordon or like Alien Swarm came out, and people were like, "Oh, Valve made a fun little game that like is not some super huge thing that everyone needs to get on." But they're like decent quality games, um, you know. And maybe this is their first step. Maybe someone wants to make a fighting game, and they're like, "Hey, implement it in Dota and see how the people react to it." I just wish that. Given given the flexibility and like flatness of Valve as an organization, that they would come out with more smaller scale stuff uh, more frequently. Yeah. I've heard one common I... complaint though, Pedro. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> Just one. Outside of that, it's spe- this is going to dominate. This is going to be at Evo this year. Yeah, guarantee you. New, new, new Evo mainstay. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, so- Sonic Fox is getting ready. <laughs> done. Like they're grinded. They're they're grinded. How's the controller support support an old Dota? Uh, judging by the move list that you were <laughs> scrolling through there, not fucking there. <laughs> it seemed to be a common theme for every video that I watched. People going, what the fuck? Why do I got a W to fantasy yeah, strike, uh, baby? I'm sure. Yeah, you can use Steam input to probably map a controller to the keyboard inputs. That's a thing that exists. Do you think there's like genuinely one serial killer that has been playing Dota with a controller this whole time? He's like, finally. Probably. I know there's someone <laughs> playing Dota with like elite motion and like doing reasonably well <laughs> compared to some other people on keyboard. Mm. I, I guess if you are one of the people that really relies and really enjoys the gyro life, absolutely. There's probably uh, some fun to be had there. But yeah, no, I don't want to start Dota 2 and I especially don't want to play to what is it? Uh, act three of the story mode? No, fuck that. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> It's just like no. Dark Souls. L- no, Literally. no, it isn't. This it, no, it, 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 it is because you because you play a video game <laughs> to punish yourself to do the thing that you actually wanted to do. It is what I enjoy. No, it's I enjoy the Dark Souls Bad punishment. Analogy. I hate Dota. Bad analogy. It's like Dark Souls because it's about as involved as trying to get multiplayer working. <laughs> oh, oh come at me! Yeah, no, I, I, I will never defend the Dark Souls multiplayer at all. <laughs> That shit. Hey, you want to no, play Dark Souls just, multiplayer? <laughs> you got a minute? All right. Um, yeah. okay. Shame, shame you can't pause the game to figure that out so that you get killed mid game. <laughs> you can bring up a pause menu, though. You can, yeah, you can uh, sort of kind of pause, pause Elden Ring. So, yeah. <laughs> but right. not while you're online. That very much, uh, the option doesn't even show up if you're online. Damn shame that. <laughs> I dropped this a uh, couple hours before uh, we went live because. Um, we like emulate. We talk about Dolphin a lot. We don't. We have been talking about PCSX because, well, they hadn't really been doing much. No, yeah, P- mm. our P- the PCSX two, um, along with the OG um, EPSX or uh, yeah, any of the uh, OG PlayStation emulators, they've been quiet. But PCSX two, well, they've released version two point oh. Yeah. <laughs> As it turns out, uh, it's been a long, long time, uh, apparently about 20 years since work started on it, which is impressive. Uh, and it, reading through the post that they made, it very much reads like someone has been paying attention to the RPCS3 and the Dolphin uh, update posts that they've been doing, which we've also covered on the show. So good job. Very good job. We like those. Uh, actually being able to, one of the things that they introduced was, uh, being able to save per game configurations rather than, uh, effectively being stuck in the nineties where you had the one configuration and you had to manually change in between games. Now you can actually save per game configurations, which is kind of necessary once you start getting into the complexity of the games like the PS2 era and, uh, SDL for proper automagic controller mapping, which, I don't know, I think that's about a decade too late, but at least it's there now, so 
Very good. <laughs> Genuinely very, very good. <laughs> I thought a lot of this was good, man. Getting rid of the plugins. It's gonna people are gonna be upset about that. They went with the devil, they decided to go to QT. But that's kinda like the cross it platform kinda makes sense when you look at what GTK using, is doing. You know. <laughs> Pre configured games though. We had a bit of a chat about that earlier, and I'm like, that's a good idea because like one thing that's I roadblock I hit with Dolphin play a game was like Oh, well, I mean, it launches, but like it's a pretty peasant experience unless you apply these 13 patches and configure it this. And I'm like, I don't want to play the game that much. So having that out of the box with uh, PCSX2 is great. Big fan of that. And uh, they have a repository for these patches. So you don't have to go like digging around in like wherever these patches hide. I'm sure it's like patches.com, right? Don't go there. Patch. <laughs> We're talking no. about Dark Souls. There's that Patches character, yes. Well, I mean, yeah. look, look he's, at this. He's from Game of Thrones. They, I mean, <laughs> mm, beautiful. Love it. I mean, because they added the I and I, like labels, to your patch files. Now you know what the hell they are. This is not like random crap. You're like, oh, I think yeah. that's the right file speaking, to load. Yeah, spe speaking of, the UI, the UI redesign also like has per game memory, because that was, that was the issue with uh, the older framework, is that every time you load a new game, you have to like set up mm -hmm. everything. Now it'll just be like, hey, you're, you're playing Metal Gear Solid 2? There you go. Here's your Metal Gear Solid 2 settings. Also, I'm going to give everybody a warning. Do not have this open on Linux along with OBS. Not, not a fan. <laughs> you will fucking confuse the two. <laughs> not saying yeah, it's a bad both thing. Both QT-based, yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> with, the, with the color theme and all that, but yeah, there's been performance improvements and all this, man. Uh, I want to know. Let me know in the comments. I seek your input. Do you game on emulators? We were talking about this during Track Mania last night. Ooh, come hang out with us. Or are you a purist? You're like, no, I want to play an original hardware. Or if you like me, I'm like, I don't, I don't care, man. Like, if I wanted to play a game, I can't think of any, like, console game outside of Bayonetta 2 and Nintendo um, that I would go out of my way to play. So does something like this reduce that barrier to entry? I'm like, okay, we're going to handle a lot of this stuff. And you don't have to deal with it because when I look at this, like I could figure it out, but I didn't want to figure it out enough to play the game. There's another issue here as well. And that's like the availability of the games because, you know, these PS2 games, they were on DVDs. They, the, the, the physical items we're can only get talking scratched. about games that you um, have backed well, up previously. Well, you already well, have well, ISOs. That's what I mean. If I want to, if I want to play new games or if I, or if I want to be able to play games that were unavailable due to region shenanigans and so on. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, you, it's 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 very hard to be a purist. Also, those PlayStation controllers had real, or those old PS2 controllers had really short cables, so you had to be real close to the to the console itself. So these days, I I do generally prefer playing on an emulator. There's something to be said about like, oh yeah, boot up the old PS2 and blah blah blah. But like, I feel that's more of a nostalgia thing. The games tend to run better on the emulators, anyways. Oh, yes. you Especially just pissed off the entire speedrunning community. <laughs> Jordan's thing. Like I'm, not a, I'm, I'm not a speedrunner. I don't give a shit. I'm just telling yeah. you, dude. This is where I see, I, like, the fight from. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm, <laughs> for, I, I'm, I'm just talking about myself. For most people, I think, uh, yeah, most people will be in Camp Jordan, which is, if you're playing the old game, yeah, let me scale up the resolution to 4K. Maybe have it on the 50-inch uh, screen TV uh, that I have in the living room playing it at 4k at 60 fps because it's a ps2 game you probably can and it looks great yeah it's still graphics from that era but they look great i like and that <laughs> i don't i nothing like i don't care by the way so no to calm the fuck down anybody who wants to try to clap back at me but i genuinely don't like sharp pixels i'm like it did not it, we all grew up playing these games on crts mm -hmm. yeah where and the smoothing was kind of, you know, a, a byproduct of the scan lines. Right, yeah. the, the point was to make <laughs> yeah. it not look pixelated. The sprites and the models and shit were designed to take advantage of that. Right. The, the, yeah, so. And there's certain effects that you can achieve with an emulator, like the waterfalls is famous in Sonic. Mm. Like, mm -hmm. That has to be run through a CRT. I'm sure somebody's already patched it. Then you run into things like this. You know, if you've been, if you were previously playing Red Car Driver Simulator, um... <laughs> You've been playing it like this until recently, unless you had a PS2 yep. where it had a skybox. Mm. 
they were saying that the, the community was threatening them with putting uh, anime girls across the sky. <laughs> <laughs> and so they went, you know what? Fine, we'll fix it. <laughs> Fine, we'll take a look at it. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, no, but the, the, they are definitely putting a lot more work with this release into the accuracy as well, because that has been another pain point with PCSX. It's been more priority about getting the game actually running rather than getting it running as accurately as possible. So, Yep. Cool, man. Love to see it. Now, something that you're probably only going to hear on a Linux gaming podcast is people yeah. not just talking about D8VK, but genuinely excited for it. Yeah, you know, you know, talking, we're, we've been talking about PlayStation 2 games, and there, there was another console out in that era, it was the Xbox, the OG, and it used DirectX 8, and uh, now you can, you can too on your Linux machine. Uh, well, you could have already, DXVK was the thing, but uh, it has been considered feature complete, even more feature complete than D9VK was when it was schlooped into DXVK proper, but now it is just a single entry point for all of your legacy DirectX versions in one place. This is good stuff, getting it all consolidated under one hood. I look forward to all the Lutris runner maintainers cursing themselves, going to update all of their runners to now take advantage of the new D9V or DEXVK. But hey, that's the that's the cost of progress, right? It's genuinely really, really nice. And I wish because this is, you know, the DXVK, they don't really do any of the fancy stuff like other tools like DG Voodoo 2 and uh, their ilk allow you to do, like forcing a higher resolution, like literally li lying to the renderer and say, no, no, you render at this resolution. And most games actually did. Or introducing some kind of post-processing, like proper AA and whatnot. DXVK doesn't do that, which is unfortunate, but I absolutely get why. They're, the purpose of DXVK is to translate old DirectX to Vulkan as closely as possible for the sake of compatibility. So I absolutely understand why they don't want to do it. But I guess at this point, yeah, DG Voodoo 2 isn't going anywhere because, uh, yeah, <laughs> people like me who like to upscale older games are still going to use it. <laughs> hey, just go get a Voodoo card. <laughs> no! Get, 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 I'd rather get a use the DG Voodoo 16 thing that to, uh, lies to the ISA system. <laughs> I mean, we're talking about a small amount of games, too. As somebody who was on 3D effects way back in the day, dude, and like, a lot of those had alternate renders, too, though, didn't they? How many yeah. games were, like, permanently locked to Glide? I can't think of a list. Uh, the, the ones that were, like, Glide or software still had the software renderer. So, yeah. <laughs> you can brute force the software renderer. <laughs> I, I mean, what? Yeah, these, nowadays these, you can these brute force the software on, on renderer your, with yeah, literally on, on your, everything. <laughs> on, your, on, your, on your 16 core 5 gigahertz <laughs> CPU? Yeah, there's no, no problem. <laughs> yeah, like 1% of one of your threads can brute force the <laughs> What are some popular um, DX8? Uh, it was it was a lot. It was a lot of stuff that came out for the original Xbox, so like Morrowind and that kind of stuff. Yeah, Morrowind um, is the big one. Um, Halo, uh, did, uh, Halo, or the the first Halo, at least the second. Uh, Halo probably 2 was DirectX 10. the first uh, Guild Wars. I remember it had a DirectX 8 renderer. Uh, I think that was just for compatibility, though. Um, oh, yeah. How did Ooh, you leave out 18 wheels too. of steel yeah. across yeah. America? We have, looked, we have done this Google search multiple times on this podcast, because yes, every yes, time yes. we bring up D8VK, it's like, what the fuck actually used DirectX 8? <laughs> Avenue Flow. Hell Battlefield yeah. 1942. Battlefield dude, 1942. Yep. That, That's dude, a big that, one. That, 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 that was a great fucking game. Blood Rain. Oh, and Blood Rain, too. God, those are so bad. I have those. Um, yes. <laughs> Seriously, use DG Voodoo 2 for Blood Rain if you want to play the uh, the Steam version. Find Cave out how you Mania. can uh, load up DG Voodoo 2 on him. Chameleon, <laughs> Chicken Invaders 3 and 4 and 5. Oh boy. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, yeah, Cossacks. so, I mean, listen, there's enough here. I mean, this just yeah, keeps... B b basically from, like, 2000-ish <laughs> okay, to, like, 2005. There was, I saw some Tony Hawks. Uh, hang on, yeah, 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 hang on, let's go... Uh, that's the old release, uh... Oh, wait, what? Duke Nukem Forever? Oh, shit! <laughs> 2022? <laughs> First release? That, that's, yeah. that, that... I don't know where they're pulling that information from. That shit ain't right. Duke Nukem Forever? Duke Nukem Forever? Uh, yeah, that, that, that makes sense. Uh, the re-release from 2022. Uh, oh, sure. yeah, yeah, they did re-release it, didn't they? Uh, mm -hmm. Then, uh, then from uh, well-known developer Slippy Floor. Sex Search. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
in 2022. The, sl- the, the slug by Vyash- Vyashlav. I got to get off that screen so I can go see what this was. <laughs> That's about what I was thinking. All right. Oh, it's on Steam too. Huh. Oh, great. Of course. <laughs> this is running Pro- and now it runs in Proton. Aha. <laughs> Proton is so dope. Um, wine, everything that's going to be able to leverage this is great for everybody. Even for some reason, you're sitting here like, I'm never getting rid of Windows. Uh, it's going to be great for you later on when you have to get rid of Windows. And the only way to play these games that are just no longer at some point, Microsoft's got to break that compatibility chain. And it's already getting <laughs> rough for games that are 10 years old, 15, and you start getting degree where it's, you, you, we, we you, just you, click, click play, we're done. I mean, yeah, especially for older games, you're going to have a lot easier time just running that shit in wine. Most oh, of the time. hell yeah. hundred percent of the time. Because <laughs> yeah, all the hacks to get that shit working are already there. You don't need to do it yourself. You don't have to go to supersketchy.cx to download the from the forum, the guy that here's an EXE all blindly yeah, yeah. run. Sure. You, that yeah, you, 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 just, you just use Umu. <laughs> Where are you at, Umu? Umu. Uh, well, you know, speak, speaking of stuff that may end up going into Proton at some point, and some stuff that's already in, well, game scope, not Proton, let's talk about the latest news coming out of ARM. They got SARMs. They got the Selective Antigen Response Modulators. No, they, they have um, temporal upscaling. Uh, they were looking at the GPU open code that uh, AMD made available for FSRs 1.0 and 2.0. And they said, hey, this is probably a good idea to have some support on this on our uh, on our GPUs. So now we have ARM accuracy super resolution. Uh, they got FSR at home. But like, I mean, this is, on, honestly, this is good for power optimized platforms like ARM. Things to that can help show better looking images with lower power gives you better battery life. This is just good all around. Uh, they, th- this is this is a very mobile focused uh, article as well. They're they're very keen on indicating that like this we're really focused on having this available on like phones, which again makes sense. People don't really care about graphical fidelity of like fucking Farmville, <laughs> and if you can squeeze an extra like four or five hours of battery out of there, people are gonna be happy. So yeah, yeah, and if you can do it properly, only scale the elements like non HUD elements that that only impacts the stuff that you're probably not reading is not impacting text directly. So yeah, you can probably get away with it, but I've seen some bad, bad temporal AA in uh, a few games and the grainy shimmering effect that it creates, especially with stuff in motion. Elden Ring is a prime example of shit temporal AA, but hey. <laughs> uh, it, it, yeah, it made me wary of just temporal post-processing effects in general so i hope they uh manage to bypass that sh- sh- show them mouse lips <laughs> yeah, it is there. a shimmer fest everyone remembers like when we got um like easy fsr1 in gamescope right no, wasn't uh, that? Uh, what? Pro- proton, proton g proton g g first yeah and then like, oh, i'm gonna try that and everybody's like <laughs> everything's glittery no um unless you were like hyper desperate and things have gotten better they have, you know, FSR two, and uh, now AMD's even moved on to point FSR with frame three. generation. <laughs> so you can introduce additional lag, then you can in- introduce a feature to help reduce the lag, which you've introduced. Oh, oh, why? Because like we, buy, we don't buy a new video card. We need to we need to load up that <laughs> because sucker, we want right? FERP's number higher. Yeah, <laughs> there, there's zero competition in the GPU industry right now. The rasterization is like fuck it, whatever. We'll deal with it. <laughs> um, one thing I never thought about though, and they brought brought up in this is especially on mobile. And this will also apply to our, you know, brave new army laptop world. Any, anywhere where you're going to be in a battery is the savings because you're not crunching those numbers as hard to get that performance or that resolution when you're using FSR. Mm-hmm. That's something I don't, you don't really think about that on a desktop. You're like, oh yeah, I guess it would be using less power because it is. It's Pretty rendering lower neat. resolution, and the upscaling doesn't take anywhere near as much GPU processing power. So, yeah, ARM and, uh, and the uh, Steam honestly, Deck <laughs> and Squirrel, uh, according to their demo, which is totally, totally fair and not the best case scenario that they could come up with in that entire fucking eight minute movie. Squirrel lips look pretty decent at uh, with with the with the upscaling. Is so, there an eight minute movie of Squirrel to, lips that I'm just glossing over? Uh, they're, they're, it's like the 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 demo or whatever. That yeah, the actually, Mori like, the demo. Mori. <laughs> it's that 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 fat squirrel that's standing on a log. This <laughs> you can see the lips. Look at the lips yeah. on that squirrel. 
No, no, the, 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 the from dick sucking lips. Uh, right then. <laughs> I guess I <laughs> needs more squirrel lips. It really does because it does look a little shimmery. But hey, man, free performance. Let's rock and roll with it now. AV1. Let's just lose whoever's left watching. It's a way to encode video. That's better than what you're currently using. I'm talking to the six of you who are streamers. And you know there's a lot more of you who are just streaming to Discord. Why? Because you're not old. You could already use AV1. But here on Twitch, they've been very reluctant to do the obvious thing that Discord has done. Or YouTube has done. And that's allow AV1 ingest. And pretty much everybody has got a modern GPU. I know both of these Yahoos have AV1 in code. Uh, Pedro doesn't, I don't believe. I don't. <laughs> I have AV1 decode, but not in code. <laughs> that, 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 seven, seven series, baby. Yeah! yeah I, wait, I waited so long! <laughs> I waited so fucking long! And I'm still waiting. Come on, still Twitch. Waiting. You know what? I, I, I have a $99 Intel card that does it. Like, yeah. they're, they're giving this stuff away. Twitch is like, <laughs> would be too easy if we just let you <laughs> just, just send your data over the open standard click, to, click our, a thing to, and to like our thing change it from HEVC 264 to uh, AV1 like an old drop no 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 here's our idea we're gonna let you at home transcode multiple streams at different bit rates you know triple quadruple the mm -hmm. load on your box oh and your bandwidth too by the way and this is all going to be managed automatically through software. You don't even have to worry about it. Enhanced broadcasting. And you're going to shoot all that up to us and we'll sort it out and make sure everybody. All right. Sure. Good luck with that. Well, <laughs> good news, everybody. Good news. Twitch posted earlier this week that enhanced broadcasting is now available to everybody. Uh, just go ahead and get it. Automatic configuration. You never have to worry about it. And when your shit explodes, you'll be like, well, that was automatic. Lovely. <laughs> to which immediately after that they went right um it will be available in the upcoming version of obs studio 30.2 when it releases soon um let's call this an early heads up teaser tweet we will quote the tweet when it already left sorry for the hiccup blah 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 it's an accident i don't believe that for a minute i don't believe that for a damn minute not even a fint of a second can you have a Fento minute? What's a Fento minute look like? It's just a uh, number of seconds. It looks no. like what's his name? What does a number Brazil? of seconds look like? The yeah, pretty blonde boy. boy. Um, <laughs> it looks like a hand going. Time's not real, man. Wake up. <laughs> That's not what my alarm clock says. <laughs> a large part of my brain was comes across as uh, Twitch going. Y'all need to hurry up, fucking release this. It's already been how long fucking now since we started doing this. <laughs> just a friendly reminder to the OBS team like get this shit out that's how I read that tweet I'm like oh sorry we didn't mean to accidentally really but now everybody knows they're working on it am I interested in it let me tell you why I'm interested in this why you should be as a consumer not a streamer it's gonna be a fucking shit show <laughs> get your popcorn out I know people who stream. I know some of my popular streamers now. It's weird. They dumb when it comes to this. They're doing good. They're doing good to have being able to get OBS up and running and getting it clicked. Something goes wrong. Shit falls apart. You're going to throw this into the mix. They don't know what their upload bandwidth is. They got 20,000 people watching them every day. No idea. All of a sudden, their upload bandwidth's not going to be enough. Their computer's going to start overheating. The game's not going to be running. Why? Because you're not doing one stream. You're not doing one encode. You're doing four, six. It's going to be fun to watch. So get that popcorn ready. Whenever Twitch support decides, um, they need to send out that retweet and make it generally available. And it should work on Linux. The work's, I think, pretty much done. One thing I don't like, what are your thoughts on this, Jordan? What, what, what about open source development? That is only partially exposed to the public. His OBS project does this regularly and have no illusions. Somebody, Amazon cut a check for this development. You know, this isn't. Yeah. 
I don't know. The there there there's like the the ideal situation and the practical reality of like you know uh there you're creating open source software that implements with a pri- proprietary upstream service using features in a proprietary driver. Yeah, at some point you can't develop all that stuff in the open. There's going to be some level of uh, some level of abstraction and sort of dark communication that needs to happen. Is it ideal? No, but you know. Give, it's give it's kind of necessary given the situation. How does that in. play out with like um, licensing with contributors of like, hey, you're using my code to do that. I should be able to look at it while you guys are working on it. I don't know, but like I would fathom that honestly, for a lot of the open source licenses, they just don't care. They'll just, they'll, they'll scoop it up and be like, yeah, what are you gonna do? Sue us? Uh, Streamlabs <laughs> Streamlabs fucked around and found out on that one, right? <laughs> Yeah, we're just going to start calling our... I forget exactly how it went down. Nobody has to clap back hard. They're like, our bad. Now they're in a partnership, yeah. so it worked out. Yeah, but like, and, and, and that's Streamlabs. But like, you know, you go to Amazon or NVIDIA or some shit. You're like, oh, yeah, we're going to sue you guys. They're like, ha, 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 ha. yeah, sure, go sue us. That's the thing. Uh, it's the bigger companies. They'll probably abide by whatever license you invoke if you know for a fact that the code is there and you say, this bit has this specific bit of code which is covered by tell, the gpl tell, tell, license tell Send that to the, vmware they fought tooth and nail yeah broadcom is <laughs> shit uh, and then they bought vmware which is also shit this was pre-broadcom buddy dude yeah like, all right yeah. if you're wondering like who would basically get to pass from obs like that's the obvious ones like youtube logitech mm-hmm. twitch like, NVIDIA, Nvidia yeah. AMD, 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 Intel, Intel. Yamaha, Yamaha, Stream <laughs> Elements, hey, they're there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> silver, silver tier, yeah. <laughs> Tribute cast, visually impaired, and the patrons. Ah, uh, the, the no, no familiar names up there. Oh. Like, come on, guys, why are you giving OBS money? Give us become a platinum, platinum <laughs> Patreon for us. Yes, come on. Introducing the platinum tier. It comes with. <laughs> Some shit we'll make up after the show. Yeah, it comes with whatever the fuck you want. If you're it's a mystery, a f- mystery yeah. box of tears. Yeah, it's just a box of tears. We're not yeah. going to tell you where we'll be sourcing it, tears. It, 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 they're just tears for Fears albums. Show, show. Everybody. Hey, man, that, that's, their, that's, that's it. We're done. That's all the songs everyone knows from Tears for Fears. It's true. The, just the two. I, I, don't, I don't know more. I'm str- straight up. All right. So stay tuned for that whoopsie. Um, hopefully, when this explodes, Twitch will go. All right, let's just get set up to ingest AV1, and it will be no, better no, for everybody. No, no, no multi encode. You can just send us an AV1. Screen, yes, screen no Rube Goldberg will. invention between you and Twitch because <laughs> they don't want to be asked. It's fucking Amazon. Come on. All right, and nobody hit me up with it. Like, well, they're different companies. Well, they they can make it happen. It's not. It's not. Yeah. 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 Like, it's dysfunctional as hell if they can't make that happen. Now, before we get out of here, I promised it at the top. Last week, there was a report on the industry of game subscriptions as a whole. It's just flat. What was it? A 1%, 2%? Well, yeah, 1% one, one to 2% growth. Yeah. And, 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 not, not profit. Growth. Growth. Yep, didn't lose money. Made money. Wow. <laughs> not enough money. We talked like, you know, hey. What are they to do? You know, you, you, again, when, when poor, you talk poor about Microsoft, they're well, suffering. Microsoft comes up because everyone immediately thinks of Game Pass. That is the dominant subscription gaming service, at least in North America, that I know of. Now, Microsoft clearly watched the show. <laughs> Somebody at Microsoft. You. Yep. <laughs> And they're like, I feel fuck all jails. This is a direct quote, allegedly. <laughs> I'm sure he said that in a board meeting. This strikes me as the guy. And I mean that in a good way. I'd probably go have a drink with him. <laughs> Here's how we're going to solve this no more stagnation for us. We're going to make money. How do you do that? Better service, better games across the board. There's some shit they didn't do because they're just going to hike the price on you. Uh-huh. That's right. Get wrecked. Uh, the prices reflect the need for profitability. Yeah, you probably should have. The, the, the playtime, the date time's over, kids. You're going to have to cough up some wet, stinky caches. This makes not one, but two, uh, almost three, if you really want to get technical bumps in the price over the last roughly one year. 
subscription services are always the first thing people know when there's a money crunch. There is. Like, it's across the board. Like, if you're like, all right, what, what's going to get cut? Are you going to cut food? No. Mm -mm, no. Are you going to cut your, um, chai tea subscription? No. Yeah, that's safe. Uh, going out to eat? Uh, game subs. Netflix. Amazon. Shit like, not your crunchy roll, though. That's precious. <laughs> uh, listen, listen, I need my 300 Isekai series because my life is miserable. It's just hey, miserable. Uh, every new uh, seasonal anime bunch comes with at least three or four Isekais now, and I'm down for that. <laughs> so, what so, so, are says the something numbers? about the psychology there. Did anybody look up the numbers across the board? Like, what are we. Yeah, so um, uh, I, 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 did, I did a little bit of research there. Uh, the, amp the Ampere study in the, in, the, in the article here says that about 74% of Xbox users are subscribed to Ultimate already. And, okay, I, I, I did not fully, I was not fully cognizant of this going into the story, so I figure some people might not as well. Um, so Xbox Game Pass has a couple components. There is the Game Pass Core, which is basically the Xbox Live subscription, and then you can pay for Game Pass on console, and Game Pass on PC, and that's what gives you access to these games. Now, Game Pass for PC is going the way of the dodo. If you still have it, you better hold on to that shit for dear life because you will be able to grandfather that in to the new era. But the second that you you cancel that and resub, so if your credit card has a little issue, uh, you are on the new plan, which is going to be $14.99 a month and is not going to come with all of the day one releases. You got to play the fucking pay the fucking premium Direct. price. If you want mm -hmm. those day one games. So yeah. What? So yeah, 74% of Xbox users on are who are subscribed, subscribed to ultimate. So there's not really a lot of growth there. It's going up uh, what, six, three bucks for the ultimate, uh, nine to 11 for the core. And yes. that's just to play the fuck online too, man. Yeah. Uh, 999 going to go from 59 to 74 for your annual pass, man. Yeah. Another uh, 15 dollars ish for the annual pass which is not bad considering what you're getting <laughs> if it's like the cost of a triple a game a month and you mm -hmm. do get a triple a game every month plus other stuff like it's still worth it it's not the same fantastic deal that it used to be it's definitely not the value prop that was pitched at the very beginning of this it's exercise, no longer an insta buy yeah yeah for console well, owners I, I guess I guess maybe still if you're if you're getting an Xbox still might be worth it. maybe at you least still for have the, to the pay the extra five dollars on top of it if you want to access the multiplayer portions because you're a scrub and you're playing on a console that charges you for multiplayer. Yeah. <laughs> and what if you're like everybody else in like you know Canada and North America? Do you even like you got this, but you don't use it a lot? Why? Because you get shit bandwidth. No. Yeah. yeah gone yeah <laughs> yeah you, you, you still you still got to download those games it's like oh yeah you can you can stream them you know st streaming games that's a quality experience that everyone everyone Bring likes for their no fast pace call so yeah the, the the big thing here they're hoping they're hoping that call of booty that's going to be the thing that draws people back i, I pulling I, I this know. shit with um see we get shit on microsoft can't pass this story up the i thought, if, we, I thought we were gonna shill but oh well too late man we, we, could, we can help ourselves. See if we can dig out of this hole. <laughs> the, the, the lovely upstanding uh, run by the glorious... Um... Shining golden god, Sachin Yes, Nutella. great. Hashtag not sponsored. Uh, the... All right, check this out. If you watched Microsoft's equivalent to Nintendo Direct they did a couple of months ago, like a month ago, maybe two months ago, it was dope. That was the best one out of that week of everybody doing their demos. Like, they didn't fuck Hashtag around. Hashtag not E3. Yeah, and like they, they didn't waste your time with like people doing bad scripted shit, and they were like, boom, 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 boom. A couple of games looked dope, and I was like, oh, that's what you've been doing with buying these fucking studios. You've been making fucking games. Who would have thought? Not very unlike you, Microsoft. That's a good idea. And after every one of these fucking trailers, is like Game Pass Day One. I'm like, oh shit, people feeling good about themselves, man. They were. Maybe like, fuck, I need to get this Game Pass. Have that ready to go when this starts. Now what? You bought your basic bitch tier and you're like, I'm good to go. Day one, no longer. <laughs> it's that rug pull. I mean, it's the, the, the enshittification phenomenon, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I, I don't know. And, and again, it, what, what always, what, what rubs me the wrong way is it's not that this thing wasn't making money. It wasn't making money hand over foot 
and ever, ever increasing. What I want to know from anybody, let me know in the comments, is were you ready? Were you feeling it? Like, I know some people listen to this guy Game Pass. I know for a fact because I talked to him. Was it about that time? Because you know, the, that's just this is a life cycle with shit like this. You know, when that party's about to be over, when you saw all those new games come into Game Pass and you're like, yeah, here it comes. We're getting ready for this shit. <laughs> Once it, it got a bad. little too good to be true. Right. Exactly. And I'm like, did you expect it to be this bad or do you just not care? You're like, whatever. I'm just going to buy the Yolo premium. Like, I'm not price sensitive to like 20 bucks a month, whatever. Get the fuck out of here. Maybe. Uh, I guess if that is, yeah, yeah, if you're not some hate mail. Yeah. If you're not buying games and you're getting all of your gaming done through Game Pass, yeah. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 yeah i guess that's and that's what microsoft's hoping for right like is you know you, you're just not going to buy the game so there, there's no risk of you or there there is reduced risk no microsoft you would that love you to fucking buy the game because then they can mm -hmm. get developers to make games for their xbox yes that that's where the that's where the I, profit yeah, margins come in on consoles <laughs> well, no, 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 yeah, you yeah, buy no, the I, xbox you don't go buy games for it you get game pass I think they were trying to do like a rent seeker thing where like yeah if, if they if they can get enough people captured in like paying recurring 70 dollars a month that's like i think that, this that, is that, in that. response to nobody buying like they're not getting licensing money like yeah. that's been going down like larger and larger studios are like yeah we're not gonna bother with xbox for when nobody buys games yeah that and like oh yeah microsoft's not gonna promote it if they buy your studio they're just gonna shutter it because fuck them so mm -hmm. yeah that's rough out there. Let us know what you think. You can do that. Head over to linksgamecast.com. We've got a contact button. As I've said multiple times, if you're watching this in the video, there's probably a comment section below, it, especially if you're one of our beautiful party patrons watching that ad-free, custom, tailored version. I, I put a version up for you to download if you want. Check it out. Let us know what you think there. Best way to do it is with a contact form, though. Get in touch. We might read it right here on this very show. And last week, lo and behold, I thought we'd probably never bring it up again. Was that Steam fighting game? I'm like, yeah, it's just some bullshit. It's going to be like, it's another Half-Life 3 rumor. Because it's too fucking unbelievable, wasn't it? Valve making <laughs> games? Yeah. Did I, did I have the faith that Valve was like outside of like maybe a fuck around prototype? Turns out oh, yeah. Valve doesn't have a problem releasing fuck around prototypes. We didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this comes from George, and they respond, Steam Smash Bros. is kind of thing in the form of Rivals of Aether, thanks to its Steam Workshop support for custom characters, stages, and modes. 3.5k custom characters is an insane roster, as one can imagine. Uh, yeah, I've, actually, I've, I've looked at uh, Rivals of Aether. It's basically, yeah, we have Smash Brothers at home, uh, but it, yeah, it, it never got a Linux version, but these days Proton makes that kind of a moot point. Uh, anyways. Uh, and to the direct question of difficulty downgrades, I'm fine with grinding away at a challenge as long as it's, I'm having fun doing it. Challenge stops being fun. I put the game down and come back later. Took a literal year-long break on the final boss of Sekiro, yet somehow finished it the day I came back. Whatever works for y'all. Have fun. That's how that shit works, isn't it? When you're mad, you <laughs> yeah, need, usually, you, yeah. <laughs> you've given up, you fucking walked away. You put the shit down, maybe not a year, but a week, a couple of days, and you come back and you're like, because there's going to be a part of your brain. It's like, you, you got you to gotta win. I don't care if you quit after you get done kicking this motherfucker's ass, but you got to come back. <laughs> And you do it, and you just one shot him. Like, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the, it, it, it's uh, I, I, I don't know to liken it to like fucking powerlifting. It's fatigue, right? Like, if you're yes. if you're if you're grinding away at the same thing over and over and over again, you're just getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And you might luck your way into a victory if you keep grinding, but a lot of the times, if you stop, you take a break, you let your you let your brain and your nervous system recover. A lot of times, you're just gonna play better because you took the you took a rest. So. Yeah. I mean, I just, that, that is a fact. <laughs> yes. Skill points when I sleep, baby. Come on. <laughs> I don't know, man. I do that too. Like I, I'll peace out. Like maybe I don't think I've ever taken a year off, but what's the longest break you've ever had for a game? I, I'm definitely like months. Like I would say like maybe two, three months and like not because of another reason other than like, I don't want to do that game right now. <laughs> I've definitely done the year break and come back. But like a lot of the times it's just because like I stopped playing because I got distracted or like something else came yes. up mm -hmm. and it's like it's it's not because I, I ran into a particular issue or may maybe sometimes it is and you just come back and again you, you have this thing where it's like it, ju it just clicks because your brain has been chewing on it for like oh, a super long time and yeah. I think I talked about it. Uh, what was it? Mad Max that we had 
And I played that up to a point and I took maybe like seven months off and there were so many bullshit menus with the fucking controller that you had to do. I was like, yeah, I can't do this. I don't know. I'm, I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> I just started over again. Man. <laughs> yeah, that, I don't think, uh, not for running into like a big difficulty spike because those, yeah, I'll put it down for a day or so and then come back the next day and just, yeah get through it but usually with grinding when a game expects a certain amount of grind new world mm. <laughs> the mmo uh speaking that of was very, very watch jordan do that on 730s he'll ignore you in chat it's awesome <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's genuinely that that game expects a lot of grinding from you especially if you're trying to do like the crafting stuff uh so yeah no i put that game down for over a year <laughs> and then i came back it's like oh it's last grindy now and i sunk about 400 hours into it so yeah it makes a difference <laughs> about this i did see somebody ask uh you know it got me to think about it the difference between i have no problem getting good with a game because it's hard even if i ultimately end up failing what i don't invest time in or i have a really hard time getting invested in is uh, i gotta get good because it's broken <laughs> that plays yeah, differently in my head there's certainly that aspect of like if the developers aren't going to try to make this a balanced boss fight i will absolutely cheat to get through it because fuck it if, the, if they're if they're not going to put in the effert why should i mm. I i'm that. very much on team let people cheat if it's a single player game and it's you're only affecting yourself let people cheat let Give people the options to do whatever it is that they want to do on their own playthrough of the game. Come on. <laughs> put an no, easy mode you're, in Dark Souls. You're, you're, you're having bad wrong fun, Pedro. Yeah, put an easy are, mode in Dark Souls. Uh, you are, let people and you are pause. a morally su inferior person for, for, for proposing this. <laughs> let people pause Canadians Dark Souls. No children. You let are the downfall of Western <laughs> civilization, Pedro Mateus. You specifically and your desire for easy modes in Dark Souls. Yep. Let new parents who have tiny children that need attention pause the video game that they enjoy playing so that they can, you know, no, he is help the brutal. other human being not die. Jordan, fuck's sake. <laughs> here, here's why, because you're not charging for it. We got to charge for easy mode. <laughs> We're here to make money, yeah, yeah. son. Oh, oh, hi, John Richitello. I didn't see you come in here. Uh, how's it going? How's it going? <laughs> Those Estes flasks, five bucks a pop. As many as you need. How many would you have bought by now? No, no, yeah, yeah. We'll, 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 we'll call it Sekiro, hey, uh, but the, the S sign is a dollar sign. Yeah. It would have been so many. <laughs> <laughs> so many. <laughs> That's your, you know, fuck this option right there. Five bucks a pop. How many do you want? You're like, all right, how many? Oh, right. no, no. You, you got to pay for iframes in your dodge. That's it. <laughs> how, how, every time you hit dodge, how many iframes do you want to purchase this time? Oh, how about this DLC? Infinite weight. <laughs> yeah no, no no encumbrance yeah, 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 yeah none i mean you already have no encumbrance uh for just the items you pick up in dark souls uh it's just the stuff that you're wearing that actually has weight <laughs> and check this out for nine bucks a month we'll let you use it online yeah. and pvp yeah i mean that, that, that that's already kind of happening uh, that's called multiplayer on a console but, but 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 but, 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 but see, we, we, we can double the dip, though, because if you are someone who doesn't have it, you can also pay to remove that ability from that person in the mm -hmm. match. Yes. And then they can pay to turn that off. And so whoever has the most money gets to cheat the hardest. It turns that's into a bidding system. That's, yeah, it's just eBay, but for, for Dark Souls. See, e you yeah, know what? E I would e respect e the game if it, if it rolled that hard. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody was about to just like smash cuts to like bidding. I was like, who really wants to win here? Yeah, yeah. Who, who really wants it? The world. Who really wants right, it the most? Right, right, right. right. Talk, talk with you, Cash. Oh man! All right, I think that's it, everybody. Mm -hmm. We did a show. If you like the show, as always, uh, thank you for your support. Everybody kicking us some coin over at Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. Everything is under our support button. You can check this show out. We got uh, weekly, daily Wednesdays. I do track mania on Tuesdays and Fridays. Jordan's hanging out on Thursdays. I also got all the stuff that I do over on interfacing Linux. If you're curious about 
you know, if you're one of a, the rarest of rare unicorns, a Linux creative, and you like doing making stuff and videos and streaming, I, I, I'm helping you out over there. Go ask some questions if you got them. But yes, we got the Patreon. We got the Libra Pay. We got the PayPal's. And of course, the magic internet money. But on top of that, we got Amazon Wishlist. If you want to pick a host up something from a show, include a note. We might read it. You never know. We, we always like gifts. We got a merch store, Amazon storefront. If you're curious about what's inside the studio, making all this stuff tick and some other stuff as well. Click on that. You don't have to buy it from Amazon. Go buy it anywhere you want. And uh, humble affiliate. Stick around for your name in the credits. If you are a patron and thank you for any Twitch subs. Oh, and if you're a Twitch sub, if you are a patron, link that shit up to our Discord. Yes. That's how you get access. <laughs> Come talk to us. You won't regret it at all. Immediately. I, I mean, see Jordan accidentally <laughs> post pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. It's great because Discord puts my, my, my wife's messages uh-huh. and that shows you what my life is. My two most popular, ch- my two most frequently used channels are General Disarray and my wife. Mm-hmm. So, Fat Finger and oops. I was just like, <laughs> all right. I thought you were just taking a picture of the puppers, but I was like, uh-huh. no, no. I, I, I do that. That is most of the pictures on my phone. It's right. just my dog. All right. Wrong song. Let's go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you can always catch us right here on Twitch, not in AV1. Uh, this week. Kicking off right here at 8.30, but if you are one of our supporters, get in that Discord. Get up to a Death Note level and hang out in the pre-pre-super shows, and we even have a video version for our executive producers. It is there ready to go, but get in touch with me. I'm at Vin Stone on X, or just Vin on our federated timeline mass.lenixgamecast.com where I have a viral post on Mastodon about War Thunder. Is that how it <laughs> B- Boost it more. Give them more <laughs> notifications. I'm Jordan, and if you're in one of my d d games, you can pay me to win. I do accept microtransactions or macrotransactions. Follow me on Twitter at TheBurningFool, Mastodon at Frojo.mass.lenixgamecast.com What about big macrotransactions? About me- me- mega macrotransactions? Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Or uh, at Frojo at bsky.app. <laughs> Give me some of those, yeah. McDonald's, call us. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I, I'm done for McDonald's. Uh, d- d- I'm always down for McDonald's. Uh, <laughs> hashtag not sponsored. Uh, if you uh, would like to see other such not not sponsored nonsense, you can follow me on uh, Mastodon. It's unaccounted for with the actual number four at mass.linuxgamecast.com. God damn it! I wish I had like head to toe like Jackbox merch to wear. <laughs> We, we, we gotta order you a bunch of those t-shirt hell shirts and Time then turn, some, them in, yeah. turn them into pants. <laughs> Time for some credits. <laughs> I love that Metallica hat in the album, Weirdly Magnetic. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time. Not gonna post my hog unless it's an actual pig. Advisors, Omega Star Theorem, Executive Producer, Scott, Mab Ramps, Atomic Ass, Mike G, Tamaj, Dave, Eship, Ian, Kurducky, 1234, Haplo, Drummer, <laughs> And our little Nikki fans, Super Desto, Empty, Glorious Egg Roll, Trooper Sleeve Sloth, thank you very much. <laughs> Trooper Sleeve Sloth, we love you. <laughs> tr- tr- good old Trooper <laughs> Sleeve Sloth. Rider X Mac and a Trudy Version of the Justin Dark Wing System D, that's like Joe the Crazy Ogie One and Frostclaw. And a Death Notes, Nova Chat, Romeo, Rene, Leonardo, Kim, Chris, Stephen, Jill, Benjamin, Doom 2, that watch, Stephen, E, Beck, Dodger, Zeno, Rue, Turnover, Pebble, Schwein, Jello, and Paper. Oh, yes. Of course, our fun Paper. upstanding cannibals like Carl, Mike, Garth, Theron, Linux, Nero, Aldius, Noclist, John, Eshep, Gamatron, <laughs> Unoid, DSN, Joy, Aromatic, Def, and Kai, Jor, Rai. And remember, oink, bitches. That's not very kosher at all. <laughs> oink, we'll see oink, you next week. <laughs> Five dudes.